in my opinion, China is the most committed country within BRICS. I think that there is a crisis of legitimacy and efficacy of the international world uh, led by the Western countries. And even the, the Western countries, they didn't do a significant effort to help the developing countries. So because of this uh, scenario, uh, initiatives like BRICS uh, become uh, more important, meaningful for developing countries. They only have an agenda more clear that benefit the developing countries. This is what the developing countries want. And this is the reason why BRICS is showing more uh, uh, credibility, legitimacy. So we can see that other countries outside BRICS apply to join the group. Uh, this is uh, a significant event. Personally, I agree uh, with this idea of the expansion of BRICS. In my opinion, China is the most committed country within BRICS. Chinese foreign policy is uh, probably is the only country now that is uh, giving to the world different kind of initiatives that are connected. The Belt and Road Initiative, the Global Development Initiative, Global Security Initiative, Global Civilization Initiative, all of these are initiatives that has a role to play in this complex world. They try to give some direction to the global governance. I think the political moment is, uh, is very, very good. Uh, the President Lula has a positive view of China and uh, has also a positive view of the role of China in the world, you know, and, uh, and uh, Brazil can, can be a, a trustful partner to China to develop all kinds of cooperations in different areas. There are a new momentum between Brazil and China that they, they have to take advantage of this time to push some agenda forward. Personally, I think that the bilateral relations between Brazil and China must uh, go beyond uh, the trade. They, they have all the conditions to go beyond this topic and establish more cooperations in technology areas. And uh, there are a lot of space to develop different kind of cooperations in health area, entertainment, for example, tourism.